welcome back. Well, it's about mid-December 2017. Christmas is upon us, but I got all my gifts bought and wrapped, so uh, I'm back to doing a few boating things. What I'm planning on doing today is uh, I'm going to try to clean a lot of this uh, black crud off my dock power cord. <clears throat> I've uh, gone on the internet and I've looked at various things people have suggested like WD-40, acetone, like a goo-off. This is a called crud cutter and also just a, a hand cleaner. And the reason for the hand cleaner, it has like a pumice in it, so it's a little bit abrasive. And then a green scotch pad. So I'm going to give these a try, and I'll document this and see if any of these common things work good. I know the acetone probably does, but I've heard people say, you know, it will soften the vinyl. And, uh, you know, is that going to re-harden? I don't know. So I'll try it out on a small section see how that goes. And if these really don't work that well, I'll try some of the more traditional commercial cleaners that you can buy, like Starbright, I think has a cleaner, things like that. Okay, so stay tuned. Well, first thing I'm going to try is the WD-40. This takes a little bit of it off, but the uh, scotch brake takes quite a bit off. Which isn't surprising. Basically, it's like sanding it off. Eh, let me try some of this. That probably does as good as the WD-40. To really get it off, you got to use the Scotch Brite. Maybe it's a little easier. I don't know. A little bit easier. Okay. Get a clean rag here. And try the acetone. Get a screwdriver first. came off with just a few wipes. Well, that's the way to go, but I really need to do this outside if I'm going to use that. That's pretty powerful. And you know what? It is like a little bit tacky. They said it, it you know, basically dissolves, uh, you know, rubber and things like that. So it is a little tacky as opposed to this. Very smooth more tacky but you know what it is starting to dry it's like it's less tacky almost within just a half a minute all right let me, let me try this oh wow look at that just this uh, gojo hand cleaner that worked pretty good Doesn't get all of it off though, but almost any of these followed up with this with the um, Scotch Brite seems to work pretty good. So in terms of how well they work, I would say WD-40 is the least effective. Even the Crud Buster is uh, not much better than WD-40. 
acetone works very quickly, but really you need to do this outside. Uh, but surprisingly, this Gojo was a good alternative. So, you know, being winter, you want to do it inside. You got to rub a little bit harder than the acetone. The acetone almost like one wipe and it's starting to dissolve it. Uh, this isn't bad. So uh, I'm going to give it a go with the Gojo, no pun intended, and uh, clean up this whole thing. In the next video, what I'll do is I'll go over some of the uh, top coats. I actually read where some people paint it, and yeah, I don't want to do that. Uh, it would have to be a paint that is very flexible and won't crack and flake off. But I want to look at some type of uh, vinyl treatment products. There's lots of stuff out there that cars use and things like that. So something to bring the shine back and also maybe seal it so it doesn't get uh, uh, the crud build up as quickly as before. Okay, this is a quickie, uh, but thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. You have a great day. And also, you have a really nice holiday.